I'm here with Bill Stewart at his shop in South San Clemente, uh, the legend, uh, renowned artist. I've heard that you do much more than just surfboards, but first of all, I want to talk about what you do in this shop and what this shop is known for. Well, I would say we're famous for custom surfboard building. Uh, we do any kind of custom work imaginable. and You can get a picture of your dog, you can get uh, flames, airbrush, uh, fake wood grain, there's nothing we don't do in, in the art department to personalize your board for you. Can you tell me a little bit more about uh, what else you offer in the shop as far as retail? Well, in the retail store, we try to, if you walk in the door, we try to have what you're looking for under the category of surfing. Surf accessories, leashes, uh, traction pads, uh, wetsuits, board bags, anything you could ever want. We pretty much have everything here. I, I notice in the retail you have the old guy's rule. Uh, line. Can you tell me just a little bit about that? Yeah, it's a phenomenon because Don Craig, my, one of my best friends, started that company. So we were very deep into that line and it does quite well. That's great. And as far as uh, your own line of t-shirts and sweatshirts, you have that. Is it limited to just hats, t-shirts, and sweatshirts? Uh, we do trunks and some other shorts and things like that. We've tried different things. That's the most successful items that you just mentioned. That's the most common things people come in for. Uh, as far as surfboards, now how many stores um, in the nation sell your line other than this store? Well, we have about 60 dealers in the U.S. and we're international. We have licensees in uh, Japan and we have uh, products in England and France and we have some boards being made in Portugal and different areas. In Hawaii, I license them to produce my boards over there and it's growing again, so I'm happy. That's great, it's gonna keep you quite busy though. Uh, what would you like people to know about surfing in San Clemente and just in general? I, I would just like your opinion on that. I've traveled all over the world, I've surfed all over the world, and I gotta say San Clemente's probably one of the best towns you could ever live in. When you think about the size of it, the weather, the point breaks, uh, it's just the utopia spot, and I've got a front row seat, so it's not too bad. Here's something new that I just came up with. This is a new fin style that has color in it that's transparent, yet it really shows unique designs. Every single fin is different, and it's also uh, numbered. So we sell a lot of these, it's brand new. Come in and get one. We are in the room where they apply a white uh, coating, a slurry seal to the, uh, what is this, a blank? Yeah, it's a blank. It's an uh, epoxy blank, which is very light, very porous, so we seal it with a slurry so we can put paint on it. One thing that Bill said earlier is because you're in a neighborhood and you are local to uh, homes here, talk a little bit about uh, what you do and what you don't use so that you are environmentally friendly to your neighbors. That's probably the most important part of why we can do this in this area is because it's a water-based material. We don't use resins, acetone, styrene, or anything like that. We merely shape the boards, paint them with water-based paints, and route the fin boxes, and then they go to the glass shop where they use all the chemicals. That's up in the industrial park. Great, so none of that, uh, none of those chemicals are in the air for no. the neighborhood here. You don't smell anything. I don't, it, it <laughs> smells very nice in here. Yeah, so that is good to know and um, good for your neighbors.